Now, obviously, you know, three sex symbols on our couch tonight, but uh, Jamie Dorn, oddly, it didn't... You, you arrived at sex symbol status quite late in life. Did. Yes. So, uh, tell us a story about... Uh, I think you were... What were you, about 15? This is one of the worst stories in my locker. <laughs> um, and I've, I've Unpack it. Big debates about whether I should tell it, but fuck it. Um, <laughs> well, I, I was... This actually had a big effect. I mean, as a kid, it has a big effect on, I'm sure, lots of, lots of kids, but I was... Very sporty when I was a kid, and but I was a late developer. I was small, you know. I, I wasn't very hairy. I was just one of those guys who just wasn't, you know. I was a bit behind, and I was young for my year, and that had a big effect on me. Whatever. Anyway, uh, I was sort of balancing playing rugby at school and and doing a bit of amateur dramatics on the side, and uh, it also culminated in. We got the final Liam will know this of the medallion shield, which when you're 15 is the biggest thing could happen. And uh, I went to Skulkin Methody, and we were playing into our main rivals at Ravenhill, which is Ulster's ground. And it was a, such a massive thing. There was going to be a big party afterwards. And uh, but also that same night befell the the, the All Ireland final of the you know Amateur Dramatic Society, where where I was <laughs> I was in uh, performing uh, Chekhov's The Cherry Orchard. Um, and I think I was a waiter or something. I was on stage a lot, but didn't really have any lines, didn't have anything to say. And. I thought, right, I'll be able to go play rugby, hopefully win that, and then go and do the play, and then go to the party for the rugby afterwards. Now, I was 15, I looked about seven. Um, <laughs> I, um, I had no hair or anything. And anyway, in the play, they'd given me this sort of black, very acrylic, highly flammable wig that they used to cut off and yoo-hoo to my face to give me, <laughs> to give me a beard, yeah. to give the appearance I was yeah. older. So I thought... It would be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> after we, after we, the curtain came down on this play, um, and I'm going to this party after, and you know, I might meet a girl, and maybe she drops a hand. <laughs> 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 so I had the idea to, to maybe cut off some extra hair off the very. <laughs> By the way, I was a very fair child. I had long hair. <laughs> So I went into the, the, the dressing room, I went into like the toilet and like cut off all this very curly <laughs> jet, jet black hair. I put it in a wee pile and got my yoo-hoo glue and just <laughs> kicked it around there, stuffed it in. I remember standing in front of the mirror going, that looks all right. <laughs> the lengths you go to. Anyway, <laughs> obviously, went to the party. I think I kissed a girl I was sort of really or urging her to sort of, you know, without forcing her. <laughs> <laughs> urging her to sort of go down, because on this one, for one night only, <laughs> it's actually quite an impressive place to put your hand. <laughs> um, anyway, that didn't happen, and actually, thank God it didn't, because I got home, it was a car crash down there. It was <laughs> 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 a car crash. Yeah. Was the, was the removal painful? The, I tell you why the <laughs> removal was so like painful, physically and emotionally. I did actually, I did actually have about three pubes, <laughs> natural, natural, yeah. naturally <laughs> developed pubes. Mm, mm. They went as soon as yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. What a lovely image. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that story, David. Well, welcome to the world of waxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah.